again, that wasn't the best transition into, into walk. There was a couple of steps of trot there, so that would be marked down, and he didn't show enough uh, clear walk in the middle there. But he's still on 73%, good extended canter. Could have asked for a little bit more, I think. I know there's a bit more in the tank there from Frank. And down the centre line, preparing for his halt and rein back. Oh, just dropped yep. out. That's a shame. That's going to be very costly. Into a square halt, though. A bit fidgety. Yes. He didn't immobilise there. And was a little bit downhill in that rain back, too. All good for the two girls, but not so good for Frank. Lovely trot to finish there, though. Into a not quite square halt, but... Uh, but that's good. 73.5 is what the judges would like to see. It's just a shame that she was just out behind on that left hind leg there. Wasn't quite stepping up. In the halt, you like to see all four legs in a, in a rectangle. So they are completely square and, uh, and next to each other perfectly. And that's what gets you a 10. And uh, not many riders can get a 10, but that, that free walk is lovely. You can just see her stretching over the back. It's so relaxed. It's so harmonious. Julie's just collecting her reins up now and back into medium walk. I haven't got the running score again on our screen here, so we don't quite know. But gut feeling is it's... I, I would say she's got that. Hopefully. <laughs> and that's a square halt. There we go. What a way to finish the test.